Hi, I'm Aria, and welcome to What's In It Beauty, where we get to the core of skincare. We'll analyze your favorite beauty products, one ingredient at a time, to better inform you in the choices you make for your well-being, inside and out. You'll discover what's actually in your everyday personal care items on a deeper level, not just for its face value and what it's advertised for. It's time to be aware of the countless chemicals your body may be taking in through dermal absorption. And since everyone has a different body burden threshold, we never know when potential diseases may start to manifest. Today, we'll be looking at Aesop's Parsley Seed Antioxidant Facial Toner. Featured in Nordstrom's Poppin series and in a chic apothecary glass bottle, this toner has a refreshing herbaceous scent and leaves a light soft film of moisture to balance your skin after cleansing. But, if you're like me, are you curious about what's really in it? Let's find out. We'll be analyzing every ingredient listed one by one based on a relative hazard scale set by the Environmental Working Group's Cosmetic Database. Ingredients rated between 0 to 2 indicates potential low hazard, 3 to 6 as moderate concern, and 7 to 10 as the highest hazard. As a product overall, Aesop's Parsley Seed Toner has been scored 3, which means that it poses a moderate concern for ingredient safety. Let's start with analyzing each moderate hazard ingredient. First, we have Polysorbate 80, a surfactant emulsifier with high contamination concerns of ethylene oxide, which is a known carcinogen that may increase the risk of uterine, breast, and brain cancers. Another toxic manufacturing impurity is 1,4-dioxane, which is also a carcinogen that may increase the risk of breast cancer. Next, we have sodium lactate, a pH-controlling agent and preservative that is approved by the Cosmetic Ingredient Review only when used under low-dose concentrations and formulated to avoid increasing sun sensitivity to the skin, as it has exfoliating properties. Phenylxiethanol, a preservative that's used as an alternative to parabens. The Food and Drug Administration warned that this chemical can lead to the shutdown of the central nervous system. It is also known to cause irritation to the skin and eyes, so people with sensitive skin or have a history with contact dermatitis should take precaution. Benzoconium chloride is yet another preservative and cosmetic biocide that's classified as a severe skin, eye, and respiratory toxicant and allergen. Affected patients of eczema should take heed when using products with this sensitizer. Linalool, a fragrance ingredient of parsley and lavender that can become a skin toxicant and allergen when exposed to air and light over time after you open the product. Delimonene, yet another fragrance ingredient, but this time of the citrus fruit. Similar to linalool, this ingredient also degrades upon storage and exposure to light and air, rendering it a skin and respiratory toxicant, as well as causing reproductive toxicity at high doses. Let's move on to the high-concern ingredients that's listed in Aesop's Parsley Seed Toner. Ready for a tongue twister? Methylisothiazolinone, a widely used preservative historically associated with allergic reactions, backed by strong evidence suggesting it to be a neurotoxin. This preservative is banned or found unsafe for use in cosmetics by both the European Scientific Committee on Consumer Safety and the German Federal Institute for Risk Assessment. To add to the list, Canada, as well as Japan's standards for cosmetics, also classifies methylisothiazolinone as a restricted cosmetic ingredient for use. Here are the rest of the listed low hazard ingredients in Aesop's Parsley Seed Toner. So, what are your thoughts? For me, having paid $63 for this toner, I really found nothing too special about it. The scent is much too overpowering, and although it totes the parsley seed label, it's reminiscent of a men's aftershave with citrus notes to me. This toner does provide balance for my skin after cleansing, but it also leaves my face feeling uncomfortably tacky, which I can do without. It's so sticky to the point where I either avoid moisturizing with a lotion after, fearing my skin would feel even more suffocated, to wanting to wash my face again because it feels so dirty after using this toner. 
I've used a few EWG rated 1 organic toners that works much better for much less damage to my wallet, but we'll save that for another episode. And with that, we wrap up this video and hope this was useful information for you to decide whether to buy or continue using Aesop's Parsley Seed Toner. Be smart, be beautiful, and be well, all at the same time. If this video was helpful to you, please make that thumbs up icon glow blue. If you have a suggestion on what you'd like to get analyzed next, let me know in the comment section below for consideration. That's it for now, inner beauties! See you in the next video.